Our 1970 Airstream travel trailer is in need of some interior restoration. Today, we'll concentrate on the bedroom. Join us as we restore this American icon on classic rides. Welcome to Classic Rides. I'm Kevin Tates. We're restoring an American classic, an Airstream travel trailer. Ours is an Overlander International Land Yacht. Our Airstream is a double, meaning a double bed, which is really a three-quarter bed, rather than the twin beds in the sleeping area. Today, we bring our Airstream from the 70s up into the 21st century with a unique countertop treatment, upgraded storage compartments, aluminum blinds, and a beautifully restored gaucho couch. Our bedroom countertop is typical of a 70s-era Airstream. It's covered in a dark laminate and for its day was quite stylish, really coordinating well with the natural wood on the walls, cabinets, and closets. Now we think it gives it a little bit of a heavy and dark feel, so we're going to brighten things up a little bit with some cool aluminum treatments. We're going to start with covering our countertop with sheet aluminum. The aluminum sheeting that we're using, this is a 36 by 36 piece. This costs about $20. I measure out the dimensions of the countertop plus 11 sixteenths of an inch for the lip of the counter. And 11 sixteenths. I also lay down tape over the cut lines to protect the surface of the aluminum. As always, when working with metal, which can be sharp, wear heavy duty gloves and eye protection. We're using an electric shear because it makes a beautiful straight cut. And all we're doing is following our guide. However, the width of our shear takes out about an eighth of an inch, so we're aligning the inside edge of our shear up with our cut line. Good, now there's my countertop. We'll take off our tape guide. Next, I measure and mark my bending line for the lip of the countertop. Now we're ready to go ahead and bend our 90 degree lip. We'll use a metal bending break to create the lip on our sheet aluminum. These can be rented from metal supply companies. Inexpensive hand bending brakes are also available. Or have a heating or roofing contractor make your bend for you. This is my top side. It's going in the jaw and I'm going to be clamping it down. So I'm going to protect it right where we're going to bend. That's just a good preventative measure that's going to keep us from marring our top surface. The way we'll do this is just to loosen our jaw and we insert our countertop into the back side of the jaw. And now on the front side, with the mark that I've made, I'm just lining it up with my thumbs to the edge of the upper jaw where we can make a successful bend. Then it's just a simple matter of clamping it down. Now we create a 90 degree bend. You want to move slowly and back off to see where your bend sits. You can't overbend and we want a true 90 degree angle. There. That's good. We relax the jaw. I'm just going to feed it out the front side. I also add some silver plastic trim to the edge of the countertop lip. That puts a nice cap on this countertop. Now, for information on this project or metal forming techniques, go to our website at DIYnetwork.com. Let's go put this countertop in place. We're going to install our countertop with a spray adhesive. First, we mask off the surrounding area to protect it from adhesive overspray. Now we're ready for adhesive. I'm going to do my countertop first on the bottom side. And all we need is a light, even coat. We'll do the same to our countertop.
just a tad along the cap. Let that tack up a couple minutes, then we'll drop in our countertop. Holding the aluminum up off the countertop and away from the contact glue, I maneuver the piece into the area and then press it down. What I'm doing is running my masking tape down the side so that if I spill any caulking, it's not going to get on my countertop or on my wall. It makes a nice, neat transition. With my edges protected, it's just a matter of running my bead of caulk. Use a finger to smooth the caulk out and create a good seal. Well, that looks great, but we're not done yet. When we come back, we'll add a unique glass tabletop that will not only protect our bare aluminum, but give our 1970 Airstream a personal touch as well. Stay with us.